Hey friends, this is Nick and I call my channel DZ Performance. The uh, motor package I have to share with you today is a 385 cubic inch small block Chevy. Um, I'm going to start it up and let you hear it run. It's got a comp cam hydraulic roller. I'll be back with the full specs and the dyno footage uh, shortly. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Very rarely do I get to show you the vehicle that these motors are going into. Uh, this is my very good friend, Steve, his S10. He, he's had this since just right out of high school. Uh, 20 years ago, I had put a paint job on this and a bedside when I was operating my auto body shop. But uh, this is the vehicle that the 385 cubic inch motor that I just showed you guys is going in. And the cam specs on this hydraulic roller that's installed in the uh, 385 cubic inch is a 236 on the intake and a 242 duration on the exhaust measured at 50 thousandths. It has a 520 valve lift on the intake, a 540 on the exhaust. It is a uh, 106 intake center line. The lobe separation, I don't see it. Yeah, it's 110. And uh, the basic specs on the 385 cubic inch is it's Brodex IK cylinder head 200s. They're lightly ported and smoothed up. They have the factory springs on them from Brodex. The, it is a 350 Chevy four bolt main block. It has been bored 40,000, so it's a 4.040 bore. It has a scat stroker crankshaft, which is internally balanced. It is a 3.75 inch stroke. It has 5.7 rods. The pistons are flat top hyperutectics with a 6cc valve relief. The deck is at about 22 thousandths in the hole. The intake we used was an Edelbrock RPM. The spacer was a one inch open spacer and the carburetor was something different. We, uh, my buddy Steve bought that carburetor over 20 years ago. It's a 700 Holly double pumper. I don't even know if they make that carburetor anymore, but it works well on the motors that we've used it on. And the horsepower that we achieved on this project was 501 horsepower and 499 foot-pounds of torque. And, you know, using it as an excuse or telling you the truth, I we did not beat on this motor on the dyno. This was three pulls in. It hit 501, was, which was the horsepower we were looking for, and we just took it off and moved on to the next motor. We had three that night to do. But basically 500 horse, 500 foot pounds of torque, I think is going to make my buddy Steve's S10 scoot. Uh, this is a project we're planning on getting this in the, get the motor installed in November, maybe do some driving this year and hit the strip early, early next uh, spring. This is Nick. Thanks for watching.